Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are talking about nude lip products and I wanted to do a more updated one because I've already done one of these but I wanted to bring out some nudes that I have been loving and also a couple of new nudes that have been introduced to me that I really really like. Also one of the main reasons why I want to do this is because I get like I cannot tell you guys how many times I get questions on what is on my lips. So not only am I going to be sharing my favorite go to nudes, I'm also going to be sharing my favorite nude lip combos. So we are talking about lipsticks, glosses, liquid lipsticks, as well as lip liners in today's video. And I'm going to link the videos that I've done recently on my channel where I share my favorite glosses. Um, um, matte lipsticks um, so I'll leave those down below so if I don't mention a certain lip product in this video because I know a lot of you have been watching me for a long time but if I don't mention certain ones and you're wondering why I didn't mention it it's because I mentioned them in the other videos so um, this is gonna be those everyday natural nude lips so it's not gonna be dark vampy nudes this is focusing on those natural everyday your lip but better color so on those days when you want to wear makeup but you don't want to wear too much makeup but you still want a little bit of color on your lips but you don't want it to look too much these like this is the type of nude that will be good to rock so let's get into it okay girl let's talk about lip liners first now i've only pulled out three lip liners one of them is actually one that i shared in my last nude lip product video but i wanted to pull it out again because honestly and truly it's the one that i gravitate towards the most also these other two so the one that i use the most is the ColourPop bff3 a lot of you know i usually use this in pretty much any lip combo um, because it's just that perfect go-to brown color but it's not too dark to wear it actually makes the lip look too dark if that makes sense so I'm gonna swatch BFF3 on my hand so there it is right there and then the other one that I like to use is one that kind of cancels out the darkness around my lips so if y'all can see here I do have really pigmented lips um, it's really dark around the edges and then it gets a little light in the center so the one that I like to use if I want a really natural kind of like a your lips but better color but also go on top of it with a lip color is bff2 this is also by ColourPop, and this is a um like i said it's kind of like a your lips but better color so there is bff2 is really really close to the center like right here the center part of my lips okay and this last one is by Patrick Ta this is in the shade she's bold this color is good for an all-over lip color if I don't want to apply anything with the lip liner and it does click but here is the one by Patrick Ta it's a little bit darker than BFF2 as y'all can see right there so it's more of a mauve um, nude really really pretty by itself now going back to all of these swatches, if I wanna rock a beige light, like a brown beige light nude lip, I usually gravitate towards BFF3 because this is a true brown liner. And if I wanna go for that everyday, your lips but better lip, so kind of pinky, kind of nude, something really close to my natural lip color, I would gravitate towards either BFF2 or um, the Patrick Tashi's Bold Lip Liner. So I think I wanna start out with lipsticks and then we'll work our way towards the glosses and then the liquid lipsticks. So let's start out with drugstore lipsticks first. So this first one is by LA Girl. This is in the shade Nudie and it kind of resembles the NARS lipsticks. It has that magnetic closure really really nice it kind of feels luxurious too because it does have a little weight to it um but yeah i've had this one in my collection for a while this is a um let me swatch them i'm gonna swatch all of them on my hand so y'all can see so there is nudie right there kind of like a pinky nude and this is how it looks on the lips so you can see right there, very, very close to my natural lip color, just a little bit lighter. I don't remember the finish of this lipstick. It doesn't say it on the packaging, but it's not matte. 
It's actually really creamy. It's kind of like a satin creamy finish. It's not too drying at all. It's not too glossy. You can see um, that it does give you a nice shine. Now, the lip liner that I like to use with this one is BFF3 because this is a lighter pinky um, nude. And since it is a brown liner, it kind of flows together. Let me show y'all. And with the ColourPop lip liners, they are so easy to apply after you put on a lip product. So after putting on your lipstick, say if you put on a liquid lipstick and you need a little bit of liner on the edges of your lip, you can easily pop on your ColourPop because they're so creamy and just so easy to apply. But yeah, this is how it looks with the LA Girl lipstick. You can see it's still a natural look. It's not too much. It's a perfect everyday natural nude lip. So this next one is Wet n Wild. This one is a little bit similar to the LA Girl lipstick, but it's a little bit lighter. It's in the shade um, Never Nude. And just like the LA Girl lipstick, I do like to apply a liner with this one. Let me swatch her. So you can see here, it's definitely a little bit lighter than LA Girl. Now let's go ahead and apply it. And I like to apply like lighter colors like these on the center of my lips. I mentioned that in my last um, lip swatch video because if you plot, I know it looks crazy, but if you apply a lighter lipstick, all like if you start around the edges, it's going to look crazy. So um, try to put it in the center and then blot your lips. That way you can kind of gradually spread to the edges of your lips. But since I apply liners with this lipstick, um, I don't really have to blot it too, too much. Now the lip liner that I like to wear with the Wet n Wild lipstick is again the ColourPop BFF3 because it is a brown liner and I don't want the lipstick to look too, too pink on the lips. But yeah, you can see here, this is very close to the LA Girl lipstick. It does give you a really natural look. It's not too much, it's not too little. You can get away with wearing this type of nude with a no makeup makeup look, which is what I love. Um, it's just a little bit of color on the lips, but it's not too much. Okay, so this next one has got to be one of my favorites because it's one that I can actually just pop on. I don't even have to put on a lip liner. It is kind of sheer, so if you need to build it up, you'll just have to, you know, apply more layers but this is the one by Revlon in the shade mink it's a perfect perfect everyday your lips but better nude but I love to just pop this on and go so let me show y'all how it looks and I don't put too much I mean you can if you want but if you want that natural nude lip just tap the lipstick on the lips just to at least get some color, blot your lips, and there you go. Now, if I wanted this to look darker on the lips or just give me more of an ombre look, I would apply a little bit of brown liner around the edges, but honestly, I like it like this. So again, this is in the shade Mink. So this next one is also by Revlon in the shade Brazilian Tan. It's a little bit lighter than Mink, but it's another one of those colors that I can just pop on and go. I honestly don't have to put on a lip liner if I don't want to. And in a way, I feel like this one is a little bit more sheer than Mink. Um, I have to go back and forth with it more than I do with Mink. Maybe that's because this is a little bit lighter. I don't know, but this is how Brazilian Tan looks. Definitely more nude, more on that um, kind of like a... I don't know how to describe it. You can see here, see how sheer it is, but it's such a pretty nude. Okay, so we're down to my last affordable drugstore lipstick. This one is Makeup Revolution, and I used to wear Cashmere all the time by Makeup Revolution, but I discovered a new shade that I think I like better than Cashmere, and that's Latte. This is a true, true, true beige nude like there's no pink undertone there's no mauve like it is a true beige nude y'all like right there look at that it's definitely one of my favorites and i feel like i wear this one the most out of the ones that i just showed but let me show y'all how pretty this color is look at that now i usually do wear a liner with this one too and the liner that I wear is, of course, the ColourPop BFF3. I'm telling y'all, I use this one more than I do any lip liner. But I always like to pair 
my um hold on <laughs> but yeah what i was saying is i always like to pair a beige nude lip product with a brown liner like a true brown chocolate liner because it's not going to change up the undertone if you guys get what i'm saying like if you wear a like say if i applied this lipstick with a pink or a mauve lip liner it's definitely going to change up the color of the lipstick like it's not going to give you that true beige nude look it's going to give you more of a pinky rosy look so i always 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 like to pair a brown lip liner with a true beige nude lip product so yes again this is in the shade latte all right so now we're moving on to the ones that are not drugstore they are still affordable in my opinion but they're not like a drugstore price and the first one is nabla cosmetics in the shade lust when i tell y'all they have the most pigmented creamy lipsticks like a little bit of this goes a long long way it is so creamy and so comfortable on the lips so there's a close-up if y'all can see it better and let's apply it on the lip so see how it just goes on so easily but yeah this is how it looks and i'm gonna pop on i feel like i'm just only using my color pop bff3 but i'm going to show y'all the other two lip liners in a minute but let me pop on um bff3 just a little bit on the edges okay this is how it looks with a little bit of the bff3 on the edges i wanted to do this because it i don't know it gives me the illusion of a natural lip because my natural lips are dark around the edges so i still wanted a little bit of darkness but not too much so that's definitely what this gave me and i love 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 the combo Next, we have one of my favorite Too Faced lipsticks in the shade Nip Slip. This is another true beige brown lip color. And it's very, um, I don't want to say glossy, but it does give you shine. But these are supposed to be matte lipsticks, which is kind of confusing to me because they are a little shiny on the lips. But there is what Nip Slip looks like. So you can see it's a true nude color. And then once I apply it, it actually reminds me of the Makeup Revolution Latte Lipstick, the one that I swatched earlier. This is how Nip Slip looks without a lip liner. And then I will go in with BFF3. Since it is a true nude, it doesn't have any pink in it. I'm just going to lightly line my edges. And then this is how it looks with a little bit of lip liner. Next, we have my all-time favorite lipstick from Minta Cosmetics in the shade Brand Nude. This is my most used nude lipstick, you guys. Like, I am almost out of this. I need to get another one. But this is a, another true, true, true nude. It's another one of those, like, nude lipsticks that I can just throw on without putting on any lip liner. I don't even have to wear a lip liner with any of their lipsticks anyway. But this is my favorite one that I just like to pop on and go. Mm. It is the perfect, perfect, perfect nude. Like a year-round nude. You can wear this in the summertime, springtime, fall, winter. Like it is the perfect go-to nude color if you just want to throw it on and go. Okay, I just realized that I already shared the minted nude lipstick in one of my other nude lipstick videos. But... Girl, it's okay. Whatever. But this next one is MAC Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Bad and Bear. This is another one of those nude, like a true nude lipstick that I don't have to grab a lip liner with. Let me show y'all. Now, this is actually the lightest I would go, even though this it's not really light, but this is the lightest I would go without grabbing a liner. Um, if I did want to grab a liner, I could use either one of these three. The BFF3 liner from ColourPop. BFF2, if I really want this color to look like, like if I want it to look like this. Because BFF2, like let me show y'all. It's honestly pretty much the same color as the lipstick. It just defines my lips even more, but it's not too light. I'm gonna show y'all the swatch side by side. So we have MAC, Bad and Bare, and then we have ColourPop BFF2. Um, yeah, BFF2. So really, really close together.
But yes, definitely one of my favorite, favorite go-to lip colors. I should have did this earlier, but before we go on to the glosses and the liquid lipsticks, I want to show you guys how the liners look by themselves. So Patrick Toshi's Bold, let me show you how it looks. But yeah, this is Patrick Tosh. She's bold. Now you can see it is pretty matte. Um, usually lip liners, I mean, they look pretty matte if you do, you know, do it all over your lips. But if you want a little bit of shine, you can go on top of this with a lip balm. You can go on top of this with a lip gloss or your favorite lipstick, whatever you choose. But I just wanted to show you guys how this looked by itself. And then ColourPop BFF2 is the one that I usually wear if I want that natural, natural everyday lip because it is pretty much a my lips but better color. But yeah, I just really wanted to swatch those two lip liners since we have been using ColourPop 3 like so much. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what ColourPop 2 and also the Patrick Toss She's Bold liner looks like on my lips. Okay, y'all, now let's talk about my all time favorite lip product, which is a lip gloss. I wear glosses more than anything so the first one i really wanted to share i have most of these that are like true nude colors they're not like too pinky but i did want to pull out two glosses that are a little bit on the pink side because they are the gloss that i would throw on if i don't want too much color on my lips if i still kind of want my natural lip color to show one of them is minted cosmetics and the other one is alamar cosmetics this is actually one of their newer colors in the shade birthday suit let's start out with this one first but this is a oh let me swatch it so y'all can see it's a pink kind of like a sheer shimmery pink but it's such a pretty color to throw on if you don't want too, too much color on your lips. Now, I do want to say with a sheer gloss like this one, I usually would go in with um, either BFF2 by ColourPop or my Patrick Ta lip liner. So I'm going to do BFF2 so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So since this is a more clear um, sheer gloss, I usually like to take the BFF2 liner and just kind of cancel out. By the way, let me know if y'all's um, ColourPop lip liners do that. Like they kind of come out so weird. But I kind of like to cancel out my natural lip color, like the line, the, the edges of my lips because they are pretty dark. So I'll go in with BFF2. And this just kind of fade. You can see how it just kind of fades into my natural lip color. It's not as dark. So I just kind of cancel it out just a little bit like that. And then taking the gloss and just applying it all over. Uh -oh. See how sheer this is, but it's still a pretty natural pink color. And see how with the lip liner, it made my lips look more like one color but still really sheer. Okay, so same thing with the minted gloss. This one is the shade Pink About Me. So I do the same thing as I did with the Olimar. I'll take the ColourPop liner and just kind of cancel out um, the edges of my lips. And then I'll take the gloss, which is another sheer, like really sheer gloss, but it does have um, that pink, color to it and then I'll just take it and just go all over my lips so it's really really sheer but you can build this color up if you want I'm just gonna put on about that much and then this is how it looks so these next two glosses are probably my most asked about because these are the ones that I wear in a lot of of my videos. The first one is Pat McGrath and then the other one is Artist Couture. Pat McGrath is in the shade um, Faux Real and Artist Couture is in the shade Uncensored. These two glosses are hands down my favorites. Like my favorites you guys. Um, and I actually shared Uncensored in my other nude lip swatch video but I wanted to bring it back because I just could not not mentioned this one in today's video but let's start out with pat mcgrath this is another sheer gloss 
really, really sheer, but it is the perfect, perfect everyday nude. Like, ugh, so perfect. And I love, 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 love pairing my ColourPop BFF um, 3 lip liner with this color. Look how gorgeous this nude is. But let me show you how it looks. Really sheer once you press, you know, blend your lips, press them together. And then the liner that I usually use it now, I usually sometimes go in with the liner first. It all depends, but with the ColourPop lip liners, it's so easy to apply over a lip, um, over a lip product because they're so creamy. But yeah, this is my most asked about lip every time i wear this i'm always getting questions in the comments on what i have on my lips and this is one of the lip combos that i have on i also love pairing this gloss on top of a lipstick the one i usually wear the most is the makeup revolution lipstick in the shade latte i'll go on top of that with a little bit of this gloss um a little bit of my color pop bff3 and girl everything let me see if i can dang i already applied it but let me see if i can kind of mix this in with it it's everything y'all yep there it goes right there this is another combo like ColourPop BFF3 Pat McGrath faux real and then makeup revolution latte you see this in a lot of my videos you guys so these three or this one and then the lip liner i'm rocking so so much and then we have the artist couture uncensored which a lot of you know this is my holy grail nude gloss it is it's pretty light but once you apply it and then rub your lips together i don't know it just transforms into this perfect nude color and it doesn't have any pink undertone. Like this is a true beige nude gloss, you guys. No pink, no mauve, no rose. Now it does look a little scary once you first apply it because it is really light. See how light that is? But girl, it definitely shears out on the lips. And then I will take my BFF3 and line the edges. And then sometimes I'll take a little bit more of the gloss right there in the center. And then this is it. This is how I do the combo. This is what you guys see a lot along with the Pat McGrath nude. It's just my favorite, y'all. It's, uh, it's just my favorite. Okay, this last nude gloss has become a favorite of mine. It's actually one of my newer ones, but I wanted to share it in this video because I love, love, love this color. It is pretty light, but I do love how it looks on my lips. It's in the shade District by Nabla Cosmetics. I did a full face testing out new products. I think that video is gonna go up after this one. But in that video, I was testing out this nude. So when you guys see that video, just pretend like, you know, that was my first time trying this out. But I wanted to share it in today's video um, because it is another true nude color like no pink undertone no none of that it's just true milky beige nude color and it is so so pretty with a brown liner so this is how it looks and at first i thought it was really close to um artist couture i'm gonna swatch artist couture right beside it so y'all can see but looking at these like side by side artist couture is actually pulling more it's actually a little bit darker than the nabla gloss but look how pretty these nudes are y'all but yeah nabla is definitely lighter but this smells so good y'all i could just smell this all day it smells like i don't know like cookies and vanilla and mm, it just smells so good but let me show you guys how this one looks another really sheer gloss so once you start rubbing it in it shears out and then my ColourPop liner okay this is how it looks you can still see a little bit of my lips peeking through because that's just how sheer this nude is which i love like i don't have to have a super pigmented gloss like sometimes i want 
a nude color to be sheer enough to wear my lips you know peek through so that is how this one looks okay so we made it down to the liquid lipsticks and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm not a really huge fan of liquid lipsticks not like i used to be um and whenever i do wear a liquid lipstick i'm tend like i tend to pop on a lipstick on top or a lip gloss or a lip balm but i did want to share the ones that i feel like are my favorites out of my entire collection that is like a natural nude color not like that dark brown or that dark mauve nude it's a natural natural everyday nude so the first one is actually one that i know i've shared several times in the past is by black radiance the shade is called hollywood hot this is a very unique color like there you don't come across this type of nude often in the drugstore by the way this is drugstore and i just realized the glosses that i just shared like there's no drugstore glosses but if you guys watch my other nude lip swatch videos i do share several drugstore glosses but back to this one a very different unique nude color that you don't really see much in the drugstore when you come across nude lipsticks in the drugstore like nude lipsticks liquid lipsticks they're usually pink they're not like it's not often you come across this type of nude so with this i first apply a liner because these dry really 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 fast so i'm gonna apply my ColourPop liner and then i'm gonna take the liquid lipstick i always like to put this in the center any liquid lipstick really i usually like to just start in the center especially if they're light this pretty right there and then press my lips together look how pretty this nude is y'all so yeah this is how it looks you cannot tell me like i want you guys to name three liquid lipsticks at the drugstore that is very close if not the same as this color like i feel like there's none they're all like pinks and i don't know it's just hard to find this type of nude in the drugstore but girl this color is everything next i have another lip product by patrick todd this is his liquid lipstick in the shade she's independent this is a pinky nude you guys it's not like a you know beige nude or anything like that but it is one of my faves now these are not like super dry liquid lipstick they're actually like a satin finish it does say on the tube it's a um silky lip cream but it's not like glossy like a lip gloss uh, I'm gonna put it in the center and then blot and since these don't dry like super duper matte right away I can go in with the liner I'm gonna go ahead and take the Patrick Ta liner and just show y'all how these look together because this is a perfect 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 combination like this is not too dark it's not as dark as my brown liner it just flows perfectly with this lippy. I love the formula of the Patrick Ta lip products. It's very comfortable. It's not drying. It just feels really cushiony and just soft. And mm, it just feels really, really nice. And also it gives you a really natural color. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect everyday lip. All right, y'all, so we're down to the last one. This is by Shiseido. I cannot remember the last time I shared this lip product with you guys on like with you guys but i have been rocking this one a lot off camera because it is such a pretty color it's very similar to the black radiance liquid lipstick but yeah they call these their lip shines and it's in the shade honey flesh and look at that y'all it looks so close to the black radiance it's such a different type of nude like a nude that you don't see often I'm gonna swatch Black Radiance right beside it so y'all can see, yeah, really, really close to Black Radiance, except it's just shiny. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put this one in the category of the lip glosses, but oh well. Let me show y'all the color. Mm. So pretty. Now, since this is not, like, it doesn't have any pink in it, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop BFF3 Okay, 
So it's very similar to the Black Radiance lip combo, except it's not matte like the Black Radiance. So this one is definitely more glossy and it still gives you that everyday type of lip. It's so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my intro because I just realized I did not film an intro, but I want you guys to see um, the lip combo that I'm gonna be wearing in my intro. So, gonna take the ColourPop BFF3, line my lips with it, and then I'm gonna take the Too Faced lipstick in the shade Nip Slip and put it all over my lips. And then I'm gonna take the Nabla lip gloss in the shade District and just put this on top. All right guys, so that is all that I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have a favorite like go-to nude lip that is more natural, that is like an everyday lip. Let me know and also if you have a favorite lip combo, what products are those? So let's talk about it down below in the comments. And that is all that I have. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.